Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're going to hook the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 up to a host PC using a serial debug cable. Let's get started. This is a magic TTL to USB cable. We're going to connect this to the Jetson and to the PC. Let me give you a close up. What we're going to do is hook this up as a null modem or what is commonly referred to as a crossover cable which means that the transmit of the Jetson goes to the receiver of the USB cable and vice versa. The connector is laid out as, this is pin one, which is where this arrow points to, pin two, pin three, pin four, etc. So on this cable, white is RX, and it goes to the transmitter on the Jetson, which is pin eight. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? The green of the cable is the transmitter and it goes to the receiver of the Jetson, which is on pin 10. And then we hook up the ground, which is pin nine on the Jetson. Red is not connected. Okay, now we're ready to plug our cable into the host PC goes into a USB port. Let's make sure the device shows up by typing in LSUSB. And here we see it. It's a PL2303 serial port. And it's showing up as slash TTY USB TTY USB zero. So let's install a serial terminal program. We're going to use Minicom in this particular instance. And then we'll launch Minicom. You hit Control A, Z to bring up the menu. Configure by hitting O. We want to set the serial port up. So serial device is TTY USB zero. We want E to be set up as 115,200 8N1, which is the baud rate, 8 bits per byte, no parity, single stop bit. And we want to have software flow control, so we'll change that. And there is no hardware flow control since we're only using the two lines. So we'll turn that off. So that looks good. And we'll save this as our default. Exit. So then we'll exit out of this. Then relaunch it. Then we're ready to start the Jetson. So you 
notice that we can actually see what's coming out of the boot console. Here are chances to stop it and look at U-boot parameters. And we're good to go. If you only use your debug console occasionally, this is a pretty good way to go. You only have to hook up a couple of wires. If you have to use it kind of more frequently or that's part of your development environment, you should probably make yourself up a nice little cable that hooks onto the header itself. Mm -hmm.